Hey, how's it going everyone? Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dwayne and this is Rabbit Squirrel's Garage where I take old or uh, non-running machinery and try to get it to run and then uh, resell it so that somebody else could enjoy it. Um, I don't try to make a huge profit off of them. Um, well, this one I may not have a choice. <laughs> I got it for a decent price. So, this is a uh, Genuine Buddy, a 2009 Genuine Buddy 125. Um, I, uh, it's a 125cc engine with the CVT transmission. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, but it won't start. We don't know what's wrong with it at all. The battery's dead. Um, but for the price I got it at, uh, you know, I, I'm going to work with it and see what I can figure out. And I'm hoping to be able to get this thing running the guy said he believes that the guy said he believes that it needs a new top end so we'll uh, definitely find out um, I just had my finger over the mic so I hope I didn't <laughs> I hope I didn't muffle all of that but yeah that's it all right I will uh, catch you on the next one all right this is gonna be the start of a new series on this um, 2009 genuine buddy 125 uh, it's a pretty neat little scooter. Um, I'd like to try it out and ride it, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can get it fixed pretty quickly and pretty easily. We'll find out. First off, I'm going to get the battery off of it and uh, see why I'm not getting any juice at all. It won't crank over at all. So just take the uh, floorboard out and then this just slides right up. Oh, there it goes. What's the battery say? Okay, here we go. Um, there's some negatives on this side. Or breaking or something? Okay, that's you know what that does have uh, turn blinkers. Why are the blinkers on? Oh. Sounds like it's getting compression. Okay, well it's getting compression. That's that's a good sign. So uh, now that we've established that, I'm gonna pull the battery off and charge that battery up and uh, see what we can't do about figuring out why this thing won't run. Sounds like it's not getting fuel. That's what it sounds like for Spark, one of the two. Sounds like that. So we'll uh, definitely figure it out here shortly. That would be amazing if I could get this started today. <laughs> Look at that tiny little battery. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this tiny little battery. So, might need a new one. I'm going to uh, put it on the charger, and once it's charged, I'll get back to you. Okay, I've got a temporary battery in here. I just went on uh, Amazon and ordered a new battery, so now I've got a temporary one on so I can at least play with it, see what's going on. Um, you do have to hold the brake in in order to hit the starter button, and it's just cranking over. So, now I'm going to check and see make sure it has gas. Alright, well this battery's shot. I went to try to put my uh, charger on it and um, it's just not taking a charge. It's not doing anything. And you can feel it's all bubbled out. So uh, this goes in the uh, recycling battery pile over here. <laughs> I got two of them now that I need to take over and get recycled. So I went ahead and ordered a new one. Um, it should be here directly. Probably tomorrow, tomorrow night sometime. And uh, but in the meantime, I've got a, uh, another battery in it that that's working, you know, fine for now. So the first thing I noticed is um, that it does have gas in it, but this washer or rubber seal on the gas tank is busted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new one, and uh, out of this piece of cork board should work just fine. It's about the same thickness and everything. Um, I'm going to make a new one and put it on there. So, if you want to watch, stay tuned. 
Okay, what we're going to do is I've got this piece of uh, cork rubber here, and I'm just going to outline this gasket inside and out. Here we go. Now let's see if it fits. Might need to trim a couple things up. <sighs> yeah, look at that. First shot. Wow. That took first shot. <laughs> so I'm going to go and put that back on and uh, I'll be back with you. Alright, we're going to check real quick and make sure we're getting spark. So it sounds like we're getting good compression. Um, which when I first kicked it over when I was looking to buy it, I was kicking it over and it felt like it didn't have any compression at all, but maybe it's just because it's such a small motor. Um, so it seems like you're getting compression, so now let's check for spark. And um, what you want to do is watch right here while I try to start it up, and you'll, you should be able to see the spark. I'm going to hold it there. I'm trying not to shock myself. <laughs> but I'm getting spark. It's definitely getting spark. Okay, so we have compression. We have spark. There's only three things you need. Compression, spark, and fuel. So that tells me most likely we're not getting enough fuel or any fuel at all for that matter. So I'm going to go ahead and see, if I, see what I got to do to take this all off and uh, get the carburetor off it and see what's going on. All right, there's the carburetor right there, um, right there in the center. And it looks like I can pull the whole carb out without disassembling the body. So uh, I'm going to give that a try and uh, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> see all that I need here. Screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver. Where else does it go? Down. Um. Yeah, let me get Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I don't know how it's attached below, so it may not be anything below it. It may just pop right off once I take these two clamps off. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Let's get them going. Now, this carburetor should pop out of here now. I may have to loosen those two also. So let me do that. That way I get a little bit of more clearance. I'll go ahead and take the whole thing off. I don't know what all I have to take off, but looks like Quite a few things. <laughs> um, so that, the mill. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. I did not know it did that. Oh, that's the electronic choke. Okay. All right, there it is. We got the carb off. So. Let's get it over to the workbench and uh, take it apart and look at it. See, I'm twisting it around and there's no gas coming out of it anywhere. Although there was gas coming out of this hose where the fuel filter is. So, 
I'm thinking that's my problem. There's, it's just not getting fuel. The slide it doesn't feel stuck or anything. So, all right, let's get this over to the uh, to the workbench and take it apart. See what we got. See what we're working with. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We're uh, going to go ahead and take this booger apart and see what's going on. We'll start with the float bowl um, down here at the bottom. And it looks like this may have to come off. No, that's, that can stay on. So, I'm just looking at three screws. Okay, easy enough. One. And yeah, now I'm getting gas coming out of it, so. That tells me uh, it did have gas in it, in the carburetor, but for some reason it wasn't kicking over. It had spark. It seems like it has compression. I don't have a, a tool to uh, check the compression. But, um, yeah, and the carburetor looks good. I don't see anything wrong with it. Just because it looks good doesn't mean it is. Let's uh, pop this float off. Check it. Yeah, it's gummed up. See? See it there? Okay, I found the spring, so now we have all the parts back again. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. Wasn't expected it to have that much tension on it, but it did. So, all right. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and toss all this into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Just let it get get a good cleaning. Not gonna, no, it sure does look like that main jet might be clogged. We'll find out. I don't know, he said he was riding it down the road at about 50 miles an hour and uh, it just quit on him. So it just died on him, started back up once or twice more and then gave up the ghost after that. So, um, don't know exactly what's going on with it, but we will find out. All right, I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave that on there going in the bath anyway so all right I'm gonna throw this all in the bath and uh, I'll get back to you all right well I'm at this I'm gonna just show you guys a little trick that uh, I learned from someone else on YouTube and uh, I wish I remember who it was so I could give him credit but I don't I don't remember who it was so if this was your idea um, I'm sure I liked your video and click the like button but basically what you do you fill these up And then you put your parts in it, and uh, it still works perfectly through the plastic. So you just got to make sure, you know, your parts are going to fit in there, right? Which this one does, see? That'll put in there. Um, put this one in here. I'm not putting everything in, just things I think need to be in there. Uh, yeah, we'll take the float jet or the float needle. It'll go in there. Uh, floats look fine. That looks fine. Eh, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw the slide in there too. Why not? Everything else should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so you do that, then you just fill them up with water. your lid on it and then you just put it right into the ultrasonic cleaner just like that and the ultrasonic cleaner works right through this thing so you don't even have to do anything else all right and I'm using the simple green heavy-duty cleaner so it's pretty good stuff you spout mix it up with some water and you're good to go See, and then you just drop this. We'll just drop these right into the ultrasonic cleaner. And 
should be good. All right, well, this thing's taking forever to warm up. Um, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the, the cleaner I've got. Um, it's a 10 liter, yeah, 10 liter um, ultrasonic cleaner, and it works pretty good. Um, it just takes a long time to heat up. Uh, but since I had the pieces in two different containers, um, I couldn't fit both containers in there, so I'm gonna have to do two different cleanings. Um, and the reason I put them in the containers, look at this water. See how nasty that water is? So I use that water to do really nasty parts that have like grease or brake fluid and things like that on it. But if I'm doing something with a carburetor, I'll put the carburetor inside of a, a, a Ziploc or a, a, you know, plastic container and then lock it up. And it, it does the exact same job, so it's no big deal. Um, but I can only, as you can see, I can only fit one in there. So that's the car body itself. So I'm gonna have to do this twice, but that's okay. Um, we'll we'll make it work. All right, I just want to show you that real quick, and uh, we'll let this keep heating up, and I'll get back to you when it's all done. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna let that sit there and dry while the other one is um, going through the bath, and we'll uh, catch up when that one's done. Be right back. Alright, our uh, second one is done now. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see what it looks like. It doesn't look, the water in it doesn't look nearly as dirty as the water in the other one does. So. But let's look at our parts. Yep, looks nice and clean to me. Okay. And the last thing was the float needle. And, yep, it looks good now, too. Yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, stay tuned for the next, uh, make sure you watch the next video. I'll try to link it um, in one of the top corners here where I put this all back together and then uh, see if I can get the bike to, or the scooter to run again. But make sure you tune into part two. Okay, folks, we're going to go ahead and call it there, and uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few projects going on here. Um, yeah, this is my garage, <laughs> but this is what I love doing, so that's why I'm doing it. And I uh, hope you get some entertainment out of it. I hope uh, you enjoyed the videos, and if you could, go ahead and subscribe, you know, check out what I do next, because um, remember, I don't, know, I don't know what I'm doing. You're going to watch me mess up. You're going to watch me screw things up. And uh, you're going to see it all. I'm not going to try to hide anything from you. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you could, go ahead and subscribe. It's right over there somewhere. And uh, make sure you check out part two. I'll try to link it somewhere in one of these corners. So thanks. Have a good one.